A Reverse Tale Part 1 Journey of Rivers Introduction In this video, we will learn about the journey of rivers from the mountains to the seas. Zia, her mother and Bobo have come from their city to Grandpa's village. Zia is very excited to meet him. Oh, father, now you seem a lot healthier than before. <laughs> this is because of the clean air of the village. So, father, what is it like living in the village after your retirement from the city job? I like this hilly village much more than the city. Here in the village, there is no noise from factories and traffic and it is free of pollution also. To pass my time, I usually walk along the village roads and sit at the banks of the rivers to watch the fishes. <laughs> That's nice to hear, father. Now I will go and meet mother. Till then, you can talk with Zia. So Zia, tell me, how was your journey? Grandpa, my journey was very nice. On the way, our bus passed through a bridge. There was a river under the bridge. And the water there was as clear as glass. And there were a lot of fish in it. But Grandpa, I did not understand one thing. What is that, Zia? Grandpa, the water in that river was so clear. But the river near my house in the city has very dirty water. Looks just like mud. Uh, why is that, Grandpa? Have you ever noticed the difference between the rivers in the village and the city? What is the difference in their water? I will tell you why, Zia, but first answer my question. Do you know where the rivers start flowing and where do they go in the end? No, Grandpa. I don't know. Zia, rivers start flowing from the mountains and they cover a very long journey. And throughout this journey, humans make use of its water for various purposes. Huh? What uses, Grandpa? Zia, when these rivers start their journey from the mountains, their water is very clean. But when these rivers flow through the village, people use it for bathing, washing clothes, bathing animals and different other purposes. After this, the rivers flow through the cities, where many factories dump their waste which contains harmful chemicals. As a result, all these wastes go into the rivers. That is why they appear so dirty. Oh, I understand it now. All these wastes go into the rivers and pollute them. We saw how humans pollute the rivers. How did it make you feel? Zia, do you know about the harmful effects these chemicals have on our body? No, Grandpa. Zia, when these harmful chemicals in the water get into the human body, it can make us very sick. Fish and other organisms also fall ill and eventually they die. Have you ever seen dead fish in the rivers? Why do you think those fish died? Uh, Grandpa, is this water harmful for plants and trees as well? Yes, Zia. This water is harmful to plants and trees also. 
that is why in some places where the water is extremely dirty there are fewer plants and even those plants are not healthy so grandpa people in cities and villages should not drink this water at all right uh can't we make this water clean and drinkable we should boil the water before drinking it will kill the germs and make the water drinkable how is the water cleaned in your home do you also boil the water before drinking can you think of any other methods to clean the water grandpa where do all these rivers go after flowing through the cities after the cities these rivers go and meet the sea and as a result all the garbage and harmful chemicals also go into the sea then do all these things get dissolved in the sea no zia everything does not get dissolved some things remain the same that is why before throwing anything into the river we must all think about its effect on the river have you ever seen the river being polluted where did you see it how did you feel on seeing it after knowing about the conditions of the rivers and the seas Zia's grandpa saw that Zia became really quiet. Don't worry Zia, the river in our village is completely clean. You can see fish, stones and other things at the bottom of the river. Zia, would you like to walk along the banks of the river with me and watch the fishes? Definitely grandpa. Let's go. Ah uh, Bobo, you also come with us. <laughs> Zia, Bobo and Grandpa set out to see the fishes in the village river. Have you ever seen such clear water in the rivers that the stones and fish below can also be seen? What can we do to keep all the rivers clean?